welcome back to Paint Provence with Tess. This is the third lesson uh, in my painting tips with Tess. And last week we talked about colour mixing and learning which two or three colours make up the colour you want. With practice, colour mixing will become second nature to you. And today I will be showing you some simple techniques um, with watercolour, uh, wet on wet, dry on wet, dry on dry and wet on dry and then of course lesson four will be getting a little bit more complicated. So let's begin. The first is wet on wet and here we can take a big brush or a wet sponge. No stretching of the paper if you've got um, 300 grams or 180 pound paper it's good and thick and doesn't need stretching. I always use the brush from one side to another, no scrubbing, because if you scrub it, not only does it do damage to your brush, but you won't get an even wash. Now a wash is, or wet on wet is, you have your wet paper and then you have your very wet paint and this way it spreads. So if you're doing a background or a seascape or a landscape, you have this lovely spread of color. The next little one is dry on wet. And I'm going to do the same as I did there, just a patch of wet paint. But next, I'm going to take this brush and instead of having a brush, this is a brush full of water and this is a brush half full of water. You can see that I've dried the water out of the point of the brush, but this bit, which I call the well, has still got a lot of water in it. So I'm just going to, um, I'll use some red, I think, just dampen my red, put it into there. Then I'm going to squeeze out my brush, the well of the brush, and I'm going to dry it. So I'm just going to get a damp brush. And I, as you can see, I'm twisting the brush still to get a nice point. Now I'm going to row it in. And it's going to be very colourful because the pigment isn't watered down. It will get paler as it goes, so I want a bit more. But you see you get good strong colour. So that's what's called dry on wet. And obviously the brush isn't completely dry, nor is the paint, otherwise it wouldn't come off onto the paper. The next technique I'm going to show you is dry on dry. And for this, I'm using, this is a flat brush I, I showed you in the materials and it's size 18 and it's synthetic. So what I do for dry on dry is almost completely get rid of the water in the brush. So it's just damp. And then the paint is also just damp. And I press the brush onto the paint and you can see what a wonderful texture it makes. You can use this te uh, technique for um, seascapes, uh, material. Now if you spread your brush out you can get even more of a So it's very good. You can do cross hatching with it. You can do shadowing with it. Uh, get a bit of Payne's grey on there. And you can see what a marvellous little technique it is. So that's dry on dry. And then the next technique 
is wet on dry and I'll just use this. So I wet my brush. I don't put it into any colour but I want to move around some of the paint that I've painted. You can still see the brush strokes but you get a lovely kind of a different sort of texture and you can move the paint around how you want it to. Here I might get that more solid and leave that one so you can have sort of beautiful brush effects. So that's it just for now and then in lesson four I will show you more techniques.